For homework four, in the first four, you just had to find the domain of the function in the graph and f at zero. Remember your f at zero, this is your x value. So when you find your x value at the zero, then you turn around and you find its y. So when x is zero, in this case, y was one. So f at zero is equal to one. You do the same for the next one f at 0, now it's 2. f at 0, now it's 4. Notice your domain. Notice your domain in here is from negative 4 to positive 4, and your range is from 0 to 4. It's continuous only between those points. Number 10 is a piecewise. So figure your domain. These really are continuous lines. So it's coming from negative infinity and it's going to negative infinity. The piece in the middle passes a function test because one is open, one is closed. In the next four, we sketch. Just put it in your calculator in your y equal and give me a sketch. Look for increasing, decreasing. The first one here is actually showing y decreasing. It's going down. So measure your value of x from negative infinity to zero. From here, we're increasing from zero to infinity. Here is your radical. Graph it and take a look at it. You might want to take a look at that point right there and make sure where your minimum is. Do an absolute minimum so you can tell where it's increasing, decreasing. Right there. Make sure you take a look at your minimum. Number 33 has a constant in there. So it's not going to decrease nor increase during that one segment. It's just going to be a constant. And in the last one, make sure you find out your absolute minimum so you can do your increasing and decreasing. These last three are your sketch and describes. So we're going to sketch it. You have a domain of all real numbers on your cubing function, and you have a range of all real numbers on your cubing function. You have no absolute min or max, but you have a relative max, and you have a relative min. From there, find your increasing, decreasing. In number 39, you might want to zero in a little closer with your y's and your x's. Make your x and your y go x min, y min. Even go from negative 1 to positive 1. Keep those at negative 1 and do your x max and your y max at 1. And it'll kind of zero in for that and you can kind of see it. Do your absolute minimum so you can see where your increasing decreasing is. It's a very slight movement between the decreasing since this graph has a radical and starts right at that zero. In the last one, it's a squaring function, gives you your quadratic, and again, find your absolute minimum, that's your vertex. It is decreasing and then it is increasing.